be talking about the third excerpt for TMEA Region 20 Philharmonic Orchestra Viola Audition. This is Mystic Layer. Um, our excerpt has already been divided into two sections for us. So we have the beginning up through measure 29. Okay, and the second section is 44 through 54. So let's talk about the first section here. Um, we have this really driving rhythm, don't we? And it, it's different, right? The rhythm in the first two measures is different than the rhythm in the second two measures. Let's take a look at that really closely now, and I'm gonna say it for you, okay? One, two, one and two and three and a four and one and two and three and a four and one. Do you want to try it with me? One, two, three, go. One and two and three and a four. One and two and three and a four and one. Good. So take a, a take a notice where your accents are. They are on one. They are on the end of three. One, end of three, one. Right. So we've got one, two, three, and. One, two, and one. Good. So we're going to practice this with um, open strings first, just to really get comfortable with what we're supposed to be doing here with the bow. Um, stay really close to the balance point, and remember to keep your fingers nice and flexible, and to be gripping into the string so we get nice articulate staccato eighth notes. Okay, I'm going to put my metronome down to eighty. practice this on the open G string, okay? One and two and here we go. And And let's see if you can get more of the accents. This is 90. Here we go. So I like to, when I put my bow on the string and I know I need to really grab it, I like to wiggle the string. See how I'm moving it back and forth without making a sound. That's how I know I've got enough weight in the bow. And then just check in on tap your pinky to make sure that you're not squeezing. Okay, ready? I'm gonna play the rhythm again on the G string for measures 25 through 27. One, two, here we go. trouble remembering wh where the 16th notes are, go ahead in your part and write in the bowings for the eighth notes. It's helpful to keep track of where the down bows and the up bows are that way. So I would have um, the down bow is already printed for you and then I would have down on the end of one and in beat two on the two eighth notes you would put up down and on beat three you would put up so you know that you have down up on the next 16th note. And then the same pattern would follow for the next um, measure, okay? Good. So now let's try that with the notes. And let's try it at 90. Here we go. So remember, wiggle the string, keep track of which way your bow is going so that you know when the end of three is. Oh, one and two and here we go. 
string, nice short eighth notes. Okay, let's look at 28 now. The rhythm here is slightly different. Okay, now here I'm going to say the rhythm for you. One, two, one, three, one e and two and a three, four e, one and a two, three e and four and a. Whew. Try that again. Three and four. One e and two and a three, four, four e and one and Three e and four and a. I think I said one word wrong, but I got the rhythm right. Okay, so you wanna try it with me? Let's see if you can do it. One and two and here we go. One e and two and a three and four e and one and a two, three e and four and a. Whew. Okay, let's practice this with open strings too at that same time. Okay, so this is about seventy-four. So again, make sure that you wiggle the string so that you know that you have enough bow uh, or enough weight in the string. Let's see if we can play this with just open D. Ready? One and two. can get pretty confusing so practice it with the open strings and practice counting the rhythm with a metronome away from your instrument you can also try thinking about this rhythm a little differently right instead of thinking oh the first group of 16th notes are on the beat and the second group are off the beat and then on and then off think of it like this so we've got it's very different than but if you can feel it like like this let's I'll, I'll demonstrate with the metronome One, to navigate, okay? You just have the same thing repeated over and over again. It just falls different parts of the measure each time. I hope that makes sense. Um, let's put our metronome back down now to about 90. And let's try to incorporate this rhythm now with our left hand, okay? So for this, just make sure that you're really dropping your first finger really accurately against the open G, okay? Ready? for your auditions it's always a good idea to practice running through all of your whoops it's always a good idea to practice running through all of your excerpts right without stopping and this one is a little different than all the other ones because there's a break and you have to jump to a different part of the piece for this stop and take your time to reset for the next section you do not have to play this right in time with what came previously. So from 29, when I play the end of 29, stop, 
reset, think about what comes next. And when you're ready, try to keep your same tempo and begin the next section, okay? Let's go ahead and look now at the second section. And this would be from 44 to the end. Now, for this, we just have some brushy eighth notes, okay? And there are accents on one and and of two, right? So that would feel one and one and one and one. So it's really helpful that if you feel that, that kind of um, off the beat rhythm where the accents are, okay? And to bring out the accents more, don't think about trying to overkill them. Think about playing the other notes less. So let's practice on the open G string. Let's practice our eighth notes brushy stroke with the accents on one and the end two. One, two, still. We get the balance point of the bow, right? And wiggle the string so you have enough weight. And for the brushy strokes, we're going to be making little U's and stay close to the string. change strings, like from the first to the second measure, anticipate that string crossing a little bit by raising your elbow early so that you are ready to get down on the C string in time. Okay, so you see how I change a little bit early with my elbow so that I'm there, right? Okay with the notes of the left hand. One, three, four, one, two, here we go. And strings right to really get that bowing and then when you're comfortable put it with your metronome it's 48 good and lucky for you the other time you have this rhythm it's exactly the same in measure 50. let's try now everything from 44 to the end at this tempo again. Close to the string. Oh. 
So make sure that you're always setting the bow before you pull it, okay? Up. Try 44 at the end, a little bit faster now. This is 96. slow run through. I'm going to run this through at 90, right? And remember, I'm going to take a break between the sections, but I'm going to keep my metronome going because that's good practice to develop an internal pulse. Okay. This is Mystic Layer slow run through. doesn't have the tempo marking. You should put in 108. The quarter note equals 108. I checked the score. It's 108. Okay. Here's the at tempo run through. Remember, always set the bow, wiggle it in the string before you start. Make sure you put enough weight. We have a lot of driving rhythmic passages in this, and we want to be nice and articulate and clean. Thank you. 